Good morning. So this video is going to be another yoga video. However, this yoga video is going to be dealing more with flexibility and relaxation. So maybe something you want to do in the morning or something that you would maybe want to do in the evening after a long day. So I'm going to just show you a bunch of different stretches that you can do for lots of different areas of your body to just get some relaxation. So let's get started. We want to start in a comfortable for you position. I like to have my legs crossed with my palms open on my knees. Breathing really deeply. And just get relaxed. So we're going to move into butterfly stretch, which is where you put your soles of your feet together. You press your knees out to the ground as far as possible. Take a nice deep breath and fold forward over your feet as much as you're comfortably able to do. Another nice deep breath and fold over your feet. We're gonna raise our arms up, palms together, bringing them down into our center, into prayer pose. A couple of nice deep breaths here. Raise those arms up. And this time we are going to twist opposite hand to knee and your vision is following that hand in the back giving yourself a nice lower trunk rotation coming back to center raise those arms up and now we're going to rotate to the other side vision is following that hand in the back for that nice gentle lower trunk rotation Coming back to center, we're going to do some neck stretches. Here we're dropping our ear to our shoulder and you're going to feel a stretch on the neck opposite. Really just breathe into this stretch, feeling the muscles stretching and relaxing. Most of us carry a lot of tension and stress in our neck and our upper shoulders, and this is a fabulous stretch to relieve that. Now we're going to go into neck rolls. Really go through all of the movements of your neck here, stretching those muscles and just enjoying the feeling. Now let's reverse that roll. Keep deep breathing throughout all of this stretching. Good, now come back to center. Take a couple of deep breaths We're going to lean down on our elbow, arm over our head. Our vision is going to follow that top arm, reaching for that corner as far as you can, and this is opening up that whole lateral side and obliques. Dropping to the opposite side, vision following that top hand, really trying to reach towards that corner. One more time, each side, reaching and really feeling those obliques opening up. Other side, vision following that top hand. So now we're gonna interlace our fingers behind us. Fall forward as you're able and really pull those arms up, feeling a wonderful stretch. Now we're 
we're going to interlace those fingers in front, pushing them away to really open up those back muscles. Interlacing those fingers behind, falling forward and really pulling those arms up to stretch the front shoulders. One more time in front, interlace those fingers and really push. Now we're gonna move into cat and cow pose. So we're starting with cow pose. You're really opening up that front chest. Cat pose, you're arching your back and pushing through the palms of your hand. Slowly move back into cow pose, arching your back, pushing that chest forward. Going back into cat pose, nice and slow and controlled and really enjoy the movement of your back as it goes through all of the positioning. Arch that back, push away. Now we're going to come back down into child's pose. Arms reach forward as far as you can. Head falls between the arms and you really want to breathe deeply and just enjoy this stretch. the needle pose so your arm is coming through you're getting a nice shoulder rotation as well as an upper back rotation really breathing into this stretch and relaxing coming up we're gonna thread through the opposite side Lay that head down and getting a nice shoulder stretch as well as that upper back rotation. Let's go back into a cow pose just to stretch, followed by our cat pose, really arching that back. Now we're going into a pigeon pose and front leg is bent in front of you under your belly, back leg straight. I like to put my hand on the sole of my foot and my knee, really arching that back, breathing deeply. If you want more of a stretch, come down to your elbows. And if you want even more, come down onto your head on your forearms and just really breathing deeply you're gonna feel that bent knee stretching as well as opening up your hips come out of your pose tuck that back foot push up and we're gonna go into downward dog really making a triangle with your body and trying to press those heels into the ground. Now we're gonna alternate by bending our knees and really pushing that heel into the ground. One final push here and we're gonna go to the opposite side of pigeon pose, coming up on our hands Leg extended fully behind us. Breathing nice and deeply. If you're ready for a deeper stretch, come down to your elbows. And even more, coming to your forearm. Breathe really deeply into that hip to open it up. our pose we're tucking that toe pressing up into downward dog really trying to get those heels into the ground and making a triangle with our body
Now we're coming back into child's pose, but this time we're gonna press those knees out, falling forward into that empty space, really reaching those arms forward and feeling the stretch throughout our whole body, breathing nice and deeply. Now we're coming back to center. Find a comfortable for you sitting position where you can sit for a while. I like to have my hands on my knees and just breathing nice and deeply, enjoying the feeling of your body as it has just completed a wonderful calming stretch. <laughs> 